All right, guys, I'm going to take you for a little ride on this one. This one will be short. I alluded to the fact I was going to possibly mount my wife's scope on her rifle after my video I did on my Lyman trigger pull scale. Well, I just got it mounted. I used these Burris rings. American made rings right down in Greeley, Colorado. You see how close that scope is right there to the to the barrel? That's what you want when you can get it. When you can get it, you want that to be just as close to that as you can get. Now, I know in some applications it's not that easy. The scope's going to sit up high on an AR, something like that. But on a hunting rifle like this, that right there is what you want. Now this rifle, this Mossberg ATR, come with the bases. See that little slot right here? Whoops, right there. Well, it has two of them. So you can adjust where you put that front ring. Well, in this case, uh, I had to put it in the back, which it doesn't matter. I guess I would have put it in the front if this would have been a longer scope or something. But put that in the back. This one here on the rear only has one. You can see that screw head right there. That screw goes all the way through the mount and it runs through a channel. That channel right there. Tightens it down. Now one thing you want to do whenever you're doing this is you want to put a little bit of gunwale or something on the threads of your rings and of the mount. That way it alleviates any uh, friction or gription or anything. Um, I actually got, I'm not no stinking scope expert. I got this information from a Leupold scope website or one of their videos on YouTube on how to properly mount a scope. Now I know a lot of people will use like the blue Loctite or something whenever they do it because they do not want them screws to back out, move, whatever. Leupold does not recommend that. But they said if you do insist on using it, make sure you use the blue Loctite, not the red, so you can take them out if you need to. But uh, this is kind of a double feature here. This stand, this stand came from my dad. I mean, he don't shoot or anything anymore. And whenever they moved out here to Wyoming, they were cleaning out their garage, and he had a wooden case full of 22 shells and all kinds of stuff and he had this stand and that's just been sitting out in the garage and I was thinking I was like man I need something to put this rifle in you know to mount that scope so I went up and dug this out of the garage and put it together that little thing's pretty slick I don't even know if they still make this anymore but this is actually designed for shooting from okay now this right here is a vice set up see it's got them clamps right there and right there so you can actually vice the rifle in there I can see this being very beneficial whenever we sight this in I think this was extra but that back part right there is this gun vise because from the factory or whatever it came with this that would have sat back here and you just would have laid the gun in it you know but for the purposes of mountain scopes or whatever that vise is real nice because it really I mean that's solid in there pretty nice all adjustable if you wanted to go out and shoot or what have you you have this right here that you can turn and as I turn it, see how that's going up in elevation? So you can put your target out there, crank this thing up to where the horizontal is dead on. Then you loosen this, pivot that left and right, lock it down. And once you have this thing, you know, your crosshairs right where you want them on your target, this thing right now is sturdy. All you have to do 
with that being in advice is just reach up and pull that trigger takes all the human element out you don't have to worry about flinch none of that stuff so and I guarantee you that thing wasn't expensive my dad was not one to spend a lot of money on gadgetry like that he would spend good money on a quality rifle and optic but when it comes to stuff like that he ain't gonna go out and spend no however much like one of them lead sleds are or whatever a couple three hundred bucks I guarantee you he probably got that thing for around thirty bucks or something but it works good so I just kinda wanted to show the scope um, <clears throat> I'm gonna leave these somewhat loose until the wife gets home from work so she can throw this up to her shoulder make sure that the distance here is good if I need to slide the scope back just a hair for her eye relief I can do that those right there are tight but these up here on the rings are just snug so once we get that we'll snug everything down good and tight and it'll be time to take her out and shoot it see how she does but uh, boy I really like that rifle a little over 300 bucks can you believe it <laughs> we got to find out if the thing shoots well though I need to calm down all right I'm out of here fairly short video thanks for stopping by we'll see you